Okay, I'm going to go over two ways that you can determine a cannabis plant's gender. It's just by visually looking at them, you can't tell whether it's male or female. Uh, so that can be an issue when you're looking at mainly uh, wanting to produce female uh, plants for the buds and cannabinoids that they can uh, produce for you. So this should only be needed uh, if you're starting from seed. If you're going to go through the labor and equipment of this intensive process of cloning and propagating, be sure you know the gender of your plant ahead of time. Males should only be cloned uh, by breeders who want to repeat a very specific cross. Otherwise, only female plants should be cloned. So after you go through and kind of d grow all your little seedlings, this is where you're trying to determine whether these are male plants or female plants from an early stage. Then once you have a known female, you can use that and repeat this process with that known uh, gender that you're dealing with. So the most efficient method would be something called PCR. This is what large-scale operations are using. It's called polymerase chain reaction, or that's what it's short for. It's a t t technique used to identify the gender of plants, and it can be done as early as around the, around the four true leaf stage. What's great about this method is only a very small sample of uh, a leaf sample is needed. Let you take a hole punch, and then you add, uh, add it to the PCR, and what PCR basically does is multiply DNA, and you're looking at using this to determine the gender of the plant. This can allow for very early culling of males and reduce the time wasted on non-target plants and virtually eliminate the chance that pollen in the grow facility from a plant that's a male that could cross-contaminate, in most cases, uh, female plants. However, that's a little cost prohibitive. So something that's a little bit easier to do and scales down in a small-scale operation is to simply grow a plant, and this does take longer, and take a cutting of that plant. Okay, take a small branch um, cutting and put it in a cloner and put it in under a flowering photo period. This will help induce uh, flowering, which will allow you to clearly identify if that plant is male or female. Now, even if the plants get a little stressed, that's okay. Uh, you're just looking at getting them to produce flowers. Now, what makes this method work um, which is, can be a tr uh, problem with some growers, is to keep good records. You want to make sure that you have all these plants labeled, you know which one it is, you know what parent it came from. So if you do identify one as male, you are calling out the proper uh, plant and not having a miscommunication on the records there. Um, the, some of these cloners do have a nice ABC, ABC 123 system, uh, but I suggest kind of in some way tagging the actual plant with um, some sort of color tag or a little label just to give you that extra redundancy so that you're allowed to keep the good plants and call out the males without making any mistakes.